78 Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC, Lions Den Boxing Community. For those who don't know, now you know. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. And if you're digging the video, go ahead and share the video. Before I play what Oscar De La Hoya said, I want to say something here. First and foremost, um, I did a few videos after the fight between Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis and uh, pointing out that Ryan Garcia was left alone, okay? He was left alone on the podium to do the post-fight press conference by himself without the two promoters, uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Bernard Hopkins, even without his trainer, Joe Goosen. All the people who were talking the most smack in the build-up of the fight, when he when the kid loses, they abandon him, right? This, this is just facts, right? I'm not making this up. But this is what Oscar had to say. We already heard what Bernard Hopkins had to say in one of my earlier videos. This is what Oscar had to say on why he abandoned Ryan Garcia in the post-fight press conference. First of all, congratulations to uh, Gervonta Davis. You you fought a hell of a fight. Um, my hat's off to you. You had a great game plan, beautiful body shot. Ryan Garcia, uh, we are proud of you. The world is proud of you. You made this fight happen. You wanted this fight. And uh, I'm sure a lot of fighters will learn from you that uh, you're daring to be great. But I do want to clarify why Bernard Hopkins and I weren't uh, at the post-fight press conference. First of all, Bernard Hopkins was accused during the weigh-in of having testosterone cream on his hands and touching Gervonta Davis when he only wanted to help him because he was going to fall off the off the stage. So um, PBC, Gervonta's promoter, banned him from everything. He couldn't get inside the ring. He couldn't do anything during the promotion. And so um, as for myself, my security team told me, boss, we got to get the fuck out of here because I received death threats. You guys don't know this. I received death threats throughout the whole week and they just said it was simply too dangerous. So we got out of there. And plus, Eric Gomez, who is my president, who was right there front and center with Ryan Garcia. So there was no issue, no problems. Uh, this is all coming from all these PBC minions uh, that are just attacking Ryan, attacking Golden Boy. But it's all good. It's all good. Ryan Garcia made this happen. Tank made this happen. We had a great fight. The best man won. My hat's off to you. And uh, again, Tank Davis, you're a great fighter. Ryan Garcia, I have your back. Bernard has your back. We're with you a thousand percent. All right. So I hope you heard that very clearly. Oscar De La Hoya said that these complaints are coming from nobody but PBC minions. He also said he received uh Threats upon his life. Um, all week he had been receiving these death, death uh, threats upon his life. Now, if this is true, that Oscar was receiving threats upon his person, okay, what is the point of antagonizing those threats? What is the point of talking trash the entire week of the buildup for the fight if you were afraid for your life? If you weren't afraid for your life before the fight, right, to the point where you were in the crowd, what, what what's what spooky what's gonna happen when you go to the post fight press conference these excuses between from oscar and bernard are ridiculous they're coming up with all these shenanigans because they got called out right they didn't think anybody would notice but people did notice we noticed that you were not there for the kid you left him you were there with him before the fight after the fight, you guys got to dodge and left him by himself. What was Joe Goosen? Now we're going to wait and hear what Joe Goosen had to say. He will have some whole different story. Bernard said that he wasn't there because he didn't want to turn into a circus. Right? Now, you're saying you weren't there because you received threats upon your person. What's going to be Joe Goosen's excuse for not being there? Let's, let's wait for it because it'll, it'll come out probably today or tomorrow. Joe Goosen will come out and say something. Uh, uh, he had a hair appointment or, you know, some something weird happened. Bunch of shenanigans. Let me know what y'all think. 78 Sports TV. Salute to the mighty LDBC. Smash the like button. Hit the subscribe. We up out of here. Deuces.